I find you really fascinating. I want to know everything about you. I'm really excited yeah. to be here. Why are you excited? Because I'm a huge fan of your show. Do you watch the show? Yeah, every day. Yeah. Joe will tell you, I uh, like when I'm doing my makeup, when I wake up in the morning, basically any time I have spare, I watch your show. Are you like a mental health advocate? Do you like that kind of stuff? I or? do. Since I was like really young, we've had a whole mental health thing in my family. What I like about your show is how you don't sugarcoat anything and you do it for the benefit of the person that you're talking to. You say that it's been an issue in your family. Was it like in your immediate family or is this a generational thing? No, it's my immediate family and myself as well. Yeah. I've suffered with depression for about five or six years now. So what's been your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is just for me getting out of bed and getting out of the house. You're 22, right? Yeah. I really don't think I had any issues with it up until I was around 17. And yeah. then it all of a sudden just kind of hit me. <laughs> is there anything that caused it that you can think of? My friends were all going to university and I was working, but I was still living at my parents' house. And so there was like, I felt very alone. By now you're 17. So you're four years on Game of Thrones. Yeah. Before you start getting depressed. It only started to kind of go downhill, I think, when I started to like hit puberty and I was gaining weight and then there was like the social media scrutiny and everything. That was when it kind of hit me. Did social media cause you to get depressed? I think it definitely was a bit of a catalyst. You see 10 great comments and you ignore them, but one negative comment and it just like throws you off. What would people say that bothered you? The character that I play on my show is called Sansa and people used to write like, oh damn, Sansa gained 10 pounds or Sansa needs to lose 10 pounds. Or really? <laughs> yeah. It was just a lot of weight comments. Um, or I would have like spotty skin because I was a teenager and that's normal and, and I used to get a lot of comments about my skin and my weight and how I wasn't a good actress. And, <laughs> and, that, and that bothered you? Yeah. And what would you say to yourself about that? Um, I would just believe it. I would just say, yeah, I am spotty, I am fat, I, I, I am a bad actress, and I just believed it. So you would go to work the next day, how would that affect you when you went to do your scenes the next day? Well, I'd get them to tighten my corset a lot. I'd be like, <laughs> make it tighter, make it tighter. You got a tighter. foot in your back pulling? Yeah, like just pulling. <laughs> I, I just got very, very self-conscious. I would be concerned about angles. I'd be concerned about my face. I have like a big nose. And so I would be like, I don't know how to angle myself. And it would just affect me creatively. And I couldn't be true to the character because I was so worried about Sophie. And when you say depressed, how did that express for you? I had no motivation to do anything or go out or even with like my best friends, I wouldn't want to see them. I have a friend, Maisie, who was on the show with me and she's just a year younger than me and she and I were growing up together and she was my best friend and so she was the only one that I really told about all of it. And when there were breaks, would you stay inside, stay in your room, stay in bed? Oh yeah, yeah. I would, as Maisie and I used to do it together. We were, <laughs> I think, being friends with each other was quite destructive because we were going through the same thing and so, we used to get home from set, go to a little supermarket across the road and just buy food and go back to our room and just eat it in bed. And we never socialized for about, for a couple of years. Really? Yeah. We didn't socialize with anyone but ourselves. Yeah. And it never occurred to you that 99% of the girls in the world would love to be you? I count myself as very lucky for that, but I don't think I viewed myself as worthy of anything that I was doing. How do you do in your relationship? Um, good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. What do you think, Joe? Confident. Around you. Yeah. 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 I won't be judged by him. He's seen the worst. Yeah? Yeah. You've seen the worst and it was horrible, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> when someone tells you they love you every day, it makes you really think about why that is and I think it makes you love yourself a bit more. So yeah, I love myself. Yeah, you know, someone like you that is an absolute icon to your generation <laughs> that is transparent about mental health issues can save thousands of lives in America this year. That is absolutely what I hope to be like, to just speak about it and be transparent about it. That's 
the payoff that I would like is for people to not feel so alone and, and feel encouraged to talk to someone about it. Think about how many girls, eighth or ninth grade, parents go in their room and find that they've hung themselves in their closet because they've been bullied on social media. Yeah. And think about how many girls won't do that because of what you've said. How many parents will open that door and their girl will be sitting on their bed instead of hanging in the closet because of what you've said? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be the truth. When we post this up, we're going to put the number for suicide hotline. Yeah. I will get you the statistics of the baseline number of calls they have before this is posted and the number of calls they have after it's posted. That would be amazing. I predict it will go up at least 200% and never come back to baseline. That's how powerful what you're doing can be. That's what I call creating meaning to suffering. I mean, if that happens, my God, I'll just talk about it all the time. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm serious. That's powerful.